Everybody knows that Dark Souls is a masterpiece in gaming. It has an amazing world to explore, unique storytelling, sexy characters, and what was that other thing? Oh yeah, it's hard as sh**. You could bring out a power washing simulator, and if it had a hard mode, it would be compared to Dark Souls. But I haven't played Dark Souls since Elden Ring came out. What would it feel like to come back to the slower paced gameplay of Dark Souls? The answer to that question I have is at the bonfire outside of what I consider to be the first real hard boss in Dark Souls. The Bell Gargoyles. The greatest part about this bonfire, though, is that this guy never shuts the hell up. Just sits down here beating his metal all day. You thought I was gonna say meat, didn't you? The biggest difference you're gonna notice right away from Dark Souls and especially Elden Ring is that Elden Ring spawns you right outside the boss, either with a stake of America or just a fantastic sight of grace. Dark Souls? D do you see what I'm going through? This is the closest bonfire to this boss. For nearly every boss in Dark Souls, the run back is absurd. You pretty much fight four regular bosses on the way there. You have to fight for your life just to get back to the boss, just for a chance to try and die to it again. Now, if I kill that guy to our left, he'll stop spawning, but to be entirely honest, I don't know, I don't know if it's worth the time, except this- Fletch testicle won't get out of the doorway! I spit so much all over my monitor. What What is my problem? Oh my god. I don't know who I'm calling a flesh testicle, though. Do you, do you see me? This one right here is what gets me every single time. Oh my god. Oh, we did it. We made it. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, they're coming. They're still coming. Might be the first time I haven't ever taken damage getting to this boss fight. I know that's sad. All right, welcome to the Bell Gargoyle, where homie's gonna come out swinging before he even renders. Oh, I do damage, but oh, so does he. Oh my gosh, I do so much damage. Hold on. Oh, and here's the gimmick of this boss, by the way. There, There's two of them. Like here, um, just... Uh -huh. Personally, I think that should have done damage to his friend. <laughs> uh -huh. I forgot, you can't heal and walk at the same time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that was fun. Now we get to run all the way back there. Uh -huh. I hopped onto an old build that I had at this bonfire just to make this video, and it was a strength build <laughs> with a plus two claymore because I'm a bad person. I haven't fought this boss in years, and to be entirely honest with you guys, I I've actually never beat Dark Souls before. For today's video, I'm just going to see if I can beat the Bell Gargoyle, and if you guys like this, I'll make more videos. We'll see how far we can go until I inevitably get roadblocked by this, or this, or honestly, maybe even the Bell Gargoyle. Ah! It's kind of surprising how much more patient you can be. Like, I can pretty much walk around this dude and hit him. Elden Ring has certainly built a habit of panic rolling because it has the most over-the-top Michael Bay bosses anyone's ever seen. Oh, I do damage. Wait, can I just try and kill him before his bud spawns? Where is he? I don't know where he is. And he's gonna hit me. Uh so when he goes to spawn his friend, we're just gonna beat the shit out of him. The, the Costco hot dogs are in the way again, and I, I can't- I wish there was a way to get rid of them permanently. I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. So yeah, Dark Souls is still hard. Like, what is that? I hate myself. Okay, I think- I think we're okay. Unless the tubby downstairs is gonna start shooting breast crystals at us again. This game is a lot more like a chess game, like, oh, you miss an attack? I'll heal. You miss an attack? BOOM! Oh, I just got a weapon for that. I just got an iframe for being shit. Honestly, just... Just run! Don't look while you heal. Just if you die, you die. You know, you know, you... I hate tandem bosses more than anyone else ever. I, I, I struggle with them. Oh, now I'm a chicken nugget. We for sure just need to focus one, but how do you focus one when they're both up your ass the entire time? I just realized how many cool weapons I have. Our Claymore does 123 damage, but I have a great sword and a Zwayhander. Zwahander. Zwahander. What the fuck is this piece of shit? I don't have enough strength for the great sword, but we can get away with two-handing the Zwahander. Oh, this thing looks meaty. All right, Metal Beater, can I can I upgrade this thing? Let's go see how hard this thing hits on some innocent civilians. Oh, 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 jumping somebody in Britain POV. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game. I missed. He didn't. This game is extremely punishing. It's a good thing I'm into that shit. Let's go. You have no idea how bad that makes me want to uninstall this game. I'm not dead. I've never seen such a minuscule amount of health in my entire life. Transverse the mist, my friend. Wait, is that an instant crit? Oh my god, I crit him right away. This is insane. Wait, this is overpowered. Hold on. Is the run back harder than the boss fight? I fucking hate all of you. Pickles, how could you be sleeping at a time like this? This is absolutely 
fucking criminal. How annoying this is. Yeah, go ahead. You can tell me I'm shit in the comments. I'm sure you guys did this on your first try from the womb. Your mom just put the controller up to her belly and just... I think my guy needs to eat a sandwich. Now we're just gonna crit hit the boss repeatedly because we're cheesy. If I can get one hit off, he'll be crit at least for a little bit, and then I can deal with the other. The problem is getting a hit off when they both spit fire. Oh, you fly and spit fire. You suck. Oh my god, that was it. That was it, and I just bricked. Now I'm gonna die to fire. Dark Souls is hard. I'm not gonna lie, if we didn't brick that last hit, that- that was fight. You get pinned into a corner, though, and they're spitting fire at you, and they're flying, they got- I- wait, I thought I cut his tail off. Wait, can I cut his tail off, and then he won't be able to spitting Beyblade attack me from the sky? Because that would be so sick. If there's a way to get rid of these things, and I don't know it, and I'm cringing you out severely- Good. I'm gonna exterminate him. I'm done. Genocide. Genocide of the flesh skittle. Everyone's telling me just to kill him, but how am I supposed to take my time to kill him? Because now I'm gonna have to fight the knight every time I- Maybe- maybe I can beat the knight's ass. Hold on. Oh, I too hit the knight with this sword. That's crazy. You know, this feels kind of therapeutic in a way. Now we baited him out. We're just gonna go for it. I'm killing everything outside of that room. I just, I just want to fight the goddamn boss, dude. Why? Just let me fight your dad. Just let me fight your dad. I just got a collat. Are they stuck in the stairs? I've trained them all down here. Wait. He doesn't. He doesn't want to come down here. Free shot. Yes. Another one. Yes. Is he dead? Oh my gosh, we killed him in two shots. Oh, life just got so much better. Wait, what's behind me? How did you get behind me? You guys were upstairs! Where did you come from? Okay, I have murdered a lot of things to get to this point. We actually did it. Our sword's good enough now that we could just run through, kill the knight, and then just beat the living hell out of the hollows, and we should be able to make it to this boss fight now. Actually, a couple flasks. Let's see, but you know, we don't even need that. We don't even need that. This is the fight. Got his tail first hit. That's a good start. Cut a man a break! Cut a man a break! Cut a man a break! Alright, we use some humanity, and now we have 10 flasks, because I forgot you could do that in this game, but we have double the healing. My friends, we look healthy. I mean, I don't even know if I'm allowed to put this on YouTube. I love that he healed, and I still killed him. You hear that? That's the sound of not having him around anymore. Yeah, we killed everything here, and we still have eight flasks left. You know when they say life could be a dream, life could be a dream, sweetheart? Well, right now, life really is the dream. God, I am ripped. Hey, touch- nope, not doing it. Oh, yep, he's back. Dad's home, and he's not happy, and he has a belt. Every time I get one of them to one HP, I die. It's like getting chased by a bunch of hairy nutsacks. Alright, seven flasks for the boss fight this time around, but it's still a lot better than two. So much fire. Oh, God, 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 give me the strength. Can you stop ringing the bell of awakening and, you know, maybe come down and help me? I was critting him every single time in that one fight. Why am I suddenly not doing that anymore? Without him being around, can I just run for these guys? Because if I don't have to kill him every time... Yeah, I definitely should fucking kill them every time. Oh, we're cooking, we're cooking. We got one! We got one, we got one, we got one! Really all I have to say about that. I figured I'd say this before a bunch of Dark Soul fanboys get pissed at me for thinking this was gonna be easy. I didn't think this was gonna be easy. I came in knowing the answer to this was still yes. It's, it's a good title, okay? I'm not saying I'm a smart man. I just got Tie Knight Shard. Oh, we can do more damage of this thing. That's insane. I didn't know he dropped Tie Knight Shards. That's crazy. This sword's somehow gonna get even more busted. Well, I guess we can upgrade our sword. Oh, I need 800 souls to upgrade this thing. Oh my, oh my god. The sun is beaming through my window, and you know what? I think it's a sign of better times. Oi! Just go, go beat your metal, metal boy. Ah, oh, we still don't have enough. That's- that's crazy. We've cleared the entire way to the boss fight. Pretty sure there's something down here we can fight, and you know what? Maybe it'll be- maybe it'll be fun. That guy. Or those guys. Oh god. It's okay. I'm strong. Alright, there we go. I think that's plenty. Alright, we have the Zwahander plus one. Now it does 143 damage. That's- that's crazy. The best part about this, too, is that everything in front of the boss is dead. We can take this thing straight to the boss fight without a hiccup. Now see, this run back is great. The one where there's nothing annoying. Oh. 
My. No more tail. No more health. One more. One more. Come on. We got one. We got time to heal. We did it! Oh, thank god. That feels really, really good. Oh, we just experienced the dopamine rush that is Dark Souls. And to top it off, do you know what we get to do once we climb all the way up here? We get to ring a bell of awakening. What can I say? That's such a good payoff. I still hate the run back though, guys. <laughs> Another thing, we don't get bonfires in boss arenas after. So really the whole point of this video is that Dark Souls is so difficult in a totally different way than Elden Ring. This entire time has just been small things that like in Elden Ring, you can roll and heal. You can have so many more iframes. You can walk while you're healing. The long run back to boss fights where if you don't take your time, you're just going to die over and over and over again. And again, if you guys want to see more of this series, we'll just pick up right from here. So drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs>